Good morning. It's Monday, April 24th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Please Say That Again. And our scripture is Genesis chapter 18. The Lord appeared again to Abraham near the oak grove belonging to Mamre. One day, Abraham was sitting at the entrance to his tent during the hottest part of the day. He looked up and noticed three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran to meet them and welcomed them, bowing low to the ground. My Lord, he said, if it pleases you, stop here for a while. Rest in the shade of this tree while water is brought to wash your feet. And since you've honored your servant with this visit, let me prepare some food to refresh you before you continue on your journey. All right, they said, do as you have said. So Abraham ran back to the tent and said to Sarah, Hurry, get three large measures of your best flour kneaded into dough and bake some bread. Then Abraham ran out to the herd and chose a tender calf and gave it to his servant who quickly prepared it. When the food was ready, Abraham took some yogurt and milk and the roasted meat, and he served it to the men. As they ate, Abraham waited on them in the shade of the trees. Where is Sarah, your wife? the visitors asked. She's inside the tent, Abraham replied. Then one of them said, I will return to you about this time next year, and your wife, Sarah, will have a son. Sarah was listening to this conversation from the tent. Abraham and Sarah were both very old by this time, and Sarah was long past the age of having children. So she laughed silently to herself and said, How could a worn-out woman like me enjoy such pleasure, especially when my master, my husband, is also so old? Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, Can an old woman like me have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Abraham had no problem understanding what was happening and how important his three visitors were. This was not his first rodeo. Many years prior, God had appeared to him and invited Abraham to uproot and become a follower. On that journey, he'd seen the hand of God move in miraculous provision, protection, and promise fulfillment. Abraham, scurrying to get a meal and resting place ready for this triune theophany visit, wasn't just hospitality. This was an unannounced blessing of the presence of the eternal, almighty God, Jehovah. You pay attention and you listen like it's the most important conversation ever. If Abraham was busy thrusting every bit of attention and energy into the Lord's visit, Sarah simply eavesdropped. God knew where she was, but the series of questions that he asked was asked out loud for Abraham's benefit and Sarah's instruction. Where is she? Why did she laugh? Why did she question my announcement of her pregnancy? Leading questions are followed by the interrogative that ends excuse-making and makes your head spin. Is anything too hard for the Lord? (laughs) In the face of laughing at a promise, that God makes, you can always expect a challenge of your faith. And once God asks you to declare your faith with a simple yes or no, the debate is over. For you today, if you've been on Abraham's journey with God for a good while, you certainly know what it's like to pant out of breath just trying to keep up. And you're also aware you don't question the direction, you just cooperate. You learn that lesson when you laugh like Sarah, and a brief time later the evidence of how right he was and how foolish you were is getting large in your belly, cementing the lesson forever in your mind. So, the next time God points you in a direction you hadn't seen coming, whether it looks possible or good or bad, or just too good to be real, try not to laugh. God's biggest and best blessings tend to happen in the unplanned and unimaginable. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.